Ford's F-150 Lightning with 380 horsepower in standard form is quite a formidable opponent for any vehicle out at the drag strip. And that was exactly the reason we spent a day out at the track recently with our friends from Sport Truck Magazine. They gathered several Lightnings in both stock and modified form and some popular muscle cars together for a shootout to see just who had the bragging rights for the quickest times through the quarter mile. The challenge brought a select group of privately owned trucks and cars to Los Angeles County Raceway along with a factory owned stock lightning for a showdown. Dan Sanchez, Sport Truck Magazine's editor, laid down the ground rules for competition before things got underway. Representing the car side of the equation, David Cupsonet in his 1999 Ford Mustang Cobra with 320 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque and a 5-speed manual transmission. And Gary Head with his 2001 Dodge Viper making 450 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque stirred through a 6-speed manual. After our camera crew left, David Hobbit's 99 Chevy Camaro SS came to the party with 325 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque fed through a six-speed manual transmission. On the truck side, we had a stock 2001 Lightning from the factory with its 380 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque motivating the two-wheel drive standard cab pickup through a four-speed automatic transmission. We also had a privately owned stock 2001 Lightning belonging to Marcus McConnell. Then we get to the three modified trucks. Jay Lincoln's 2000 Lightning with a Granatelli Pro-M mass air sensor and a Swanson chip. A Gaylord's bed cover smooths the airflow out back. And homemade traction bars help control the rear axle in hard takeoffs. Mike Husser's 2001 Lightning featured SoCal Speed Shop's installation of nitrous oxide injection with twin bottles hidden under a Gaylord's bed cover and a K&N air filter helping the engine breathe. Eibach front springs, Belltech rear leaf shackles, Coddington 18-inch wheels, and Goodyear F1 tires help keep Mike's Lightning firmly attached to the road. Lynn Guthrie's 2001 Lightning was also modified by SoCal Speed Shops with a nitrous oxide system with one 10-pound bottle nestled on the bed rug under the lid. Outside there's an F1 Cobra hood and smoked headlight covers along with chromed wheels. The truck has been lowered 4 inches with a SoCal suspension kit. So what were the results when all these hot cars and trucks hit the track? Well, the fastest time of the day was turned in by Gary Head's Viper with a 12.86 second 100 mile per hour quarter mile. Next came the three modified Lightnings with Mike Hoosers at 12.91 seconds and 109 miles per hour. Lynn Guthrie at 13.23 seconds and 108 miles per hour and Jay Lincoln's 13.91 seconds and 99 miles per hour. David Hobbit's Camaro SS turned in a 14.10 time at 99 miles per hour. Then came the stock lightnings with the staff-driven factory truck turning 14.20 seconds and 97 miles per hour and Marcus McConnell's truck at 14.27 seconds and 98 miles per hour. David Cupsonet's Cobra went through the quarter in 14.36 seconds at 96 miles per hour. Some very impressive numbers from all these vehicles, especially considering the hot weather on the day of our testing. This exercise certainly proved that trucks can hustle down the road with some of the fastest cars out there, and that some prudent modifications can get you there even quicker and that you don't have to put your need for speed on the back burner just because you need to carry lots of stuff or pull a trailer to your destination. We want to thank Sport Truck Magazine for inviting us along for a fun day and we can't wait to see what they'll be cooking up next time we take our cameras out to the track. <laughs>